Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission, we're going to talk about baking soda. Baking soda is some of my most popular videos on YouTube. And uh, Dina, who's in the office here with us. Hello. Dina, what did you just get um, diagnosed with? I got diagnosed with gastroesophageal reflux disease. So basically, there was a high buildup of acid in my stomach. It's going up through into my esophagus and was causing me a lot of pain in my stomach. Did they say it was an ulcer as well? Yeah, they said that it, because, you know, the ulcer kind of led to the high acid buildup. Okay. So, now in one of my baking soda videos, or, or maybe several of them, I have a lot of comments on how people have used baking soda for ulcers. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not telling you what to do. Um, so, but there have been comments all along that, oh, acid reflux, ulcers, people have used them and they've had great success with them. So I said to Dina, Dina, the doctor wanted to give you a prescription, correct? Right, yeah. Of course, for something. Now, keep in mind, in 1998, I had terrible acid reflux. I had, my acid reflux was so bad, they wanted to operate on my trachea because they wanted to, to do something. I don't know if they wanted to open it or close it, but they wanted to go that far because the medication they were giving me wasn't working at the time. I had to sit up, I had to basically sleep uh, sitting up at certain points, and I kept Tums on my nightstand. It just was, it was, a, it was a disaster. Of course, I changed that through lifestyle and diet. However, baking soda, uh, when I have acid reflux now, I always do a teaspoon of baking soda and about a pint of water. And I don't get acid reflux that much. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I do, because I'm eating different foods that I shouldn't be eating. I'm out with friends at restaurants, and I, I try different things. So immediately when I do that, I immediately get cleared of my acid reflux. It just totally neutralizes me and it feels, I can feel, I can feel it working instantly. So I said to Dina, hey, why don't you try some baking soda? And what was your response? First you were like, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but then after a while I was like, are you going to try that baking soda? Because you were sitting in the office here in pain. Yes, I was. You missed a couple days of work yep. because of this. And of course, it's all caused from your diet. You know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. You know, and your doctor was very vague with you. What did he say? Just avoid. He said avoid coffee and black tea and chocolate. I asked him specifically if there's anything else I can avoid, but he just kept it plain as coffee and black tea. So, <laughs> yeah. So you said, well, I still want to drink tea. Can I drink herbal tea? And what did he say? He said, well, be careful because some herbal teas are in fact loaded with caffeine. Which that is where he'd be wrong. Herbal teas are caffeine free, okay? You might have a mixture of an herbal tea. He's probably thinking of like a flavored tea. Right. You know, like a, like a peppermint mango tea or something or a mint mango tea. You know, of course, if it's tea, if it's a green, black, white tea, it's going to have caffeine. But if you go pick mint leaves and dry them, there's no caffeine in mint leaves, right? Or peppermint leaves or chamomile. And those are what herbal teas are. It's a, it's a plant-based matter, not, a, not coming from the tea plant. So... You reluctantly did it. You're like, well, I just can't stomach the taste of it, right? Right, yeah, because I've done it before when, you know, if I've had a couple stomach aches here and there when you've told me to and I just can't really get through it, but I was in a lot of pain and I just said, I just, I have to, I have to do this. If, if it's going to help, I have to do it. And uh, so what happened? Um, I, probably within five minutes, I, my stomach pain dropped significantly. It, it felt like... I, I, I couldn't even tell you. It just felt so much better. And then I started, I've done it every day for the past three days and I have no pain. I haven't taken my medication that was prescribed to me either. So it's, it's just been doing the baking soda and it's, it's incredible. I, I had no idea. I mean, obviously I believed you when you s said everything that you were saying, but I had no idea how incredible it would actually work out and really feel just a hundred percent better. Well, excellent. So yeah, baking soda, it's pretty easy. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not recommending you do it. I'm just shedding some light on what may have worked for myself and obviously uh, what worked for Dina here. So uh, good job, Dina, and I hope you're watching your diet. I am, yes. You are? <laughs> I, okay. I certainly am. Because really, the main thing is diet is so important. What you eat, what you drink, what you think, what you smoke, all this is so important. And people think that taking a pill is the answer. Taking the pill is not the answer. The answer is in the foundation of good fundamental health. It only works for so long where you're going to take a pill to mask a, um, a, 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 what am I trying to say, a symptom, where you're trying to mask a symptom. So uh, if you have not seen my baking soda videos, head over to my YouTube channel, check out my baking soda videos. They have a ton of views, there's a lot of good comments on there, there's people that are pro and con baking soda, so read it all, get educated about it. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe, and definitely pass it on. Right.